Hello and welcome to Assetti Corsa, something that's new out on Steam. The game's not actually released as yet, it's actually in the dev build, but for $29.99 you do get quite a lot of content. Now I've been playing Drive Club on the PS4 thinking that that was good and getting into the graphics and everything else, but the, it really was arcade and the community are just cunts, if I'm honest with you, just ramming you off the fucking track. Now Mr. Porter, a friend of mine called Steve, told me about this and I thought, oh, just another PC driving game, but this game's actually really, really enjoyable. It's got quite a heavy sim feel to it. Um, it's in the vein of, um, what's the other racing one? There's another one coming out soon, Project Cars. And um, if you imagine Forza, but on steroids, something that actually feels like a real simulation game for the PC, then a City Corsa is probably the game for you. The game is definitely in the simulation side of things and from looking on the forum a lot of people are saying obviously to get the best out of this game you're going to need a wheel which, which is obvious with any PC simulation games a steering wheel is always going to be better all day long. Now I'm actually playing this with the 360 pad and there are a lot of settings that you can change uh, for the sensitivity and the dampening um, and basically the other things in there for how sensitive the steering is and once you actually get used to it and dial some in, I'll put my settings in the info box below because um, I actually got them from somebody else on the internet, it's actually quite controllable. You've just got to get out of that mindset that because this is a simulation game, you can't just put your foot down or in this case your finger down um, and absolutely go for it because there is a full tyre physics and everything else that goes in there and obviously with a 800 brake horse, whatever this Lotus is, um, it's quite easy to uh, to actually lose control. It is actually one of those games where it's enjoyable to actually be in the cockpit view, even though you can see here I'm doing the external view. That's just, just to give you an idea of what it's like compared to Formula One. Um, having played Formula One from Codemasters, this game makes that game look completely arcadey. Um, so what am I saying? Well, basically, if you've got the 360 pad and you're worried about this, you're not going to be able to play it. As you can see on screen, it is totally playable. You're probably going to get annihilated by people online or in the time trials where people have got a steering wheel. But if you have got the 360 pad, then don't worry about it. Totally and utterly controllable. We could talk about the handling all day long, but the f one of the first things that stood out for me when playing this game was the audio. Oh my god, does this game sound fucking good. I mean, I used to have a 5.1 system, I'm now playing on uh, 5.1 headphones. And believe me, when you get this thing up to the rev limiter, it is fucking... The, the audio in this is absolutely fantastic. These vehicles sound beefy. Um, and in the next clip I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you me attempting to drive around in an F40. Um, one of my all-time favourite cars. I actually got to sit in one of these cars when I was doing um, a showroom video because I'm actually a filmmaker. And uh, I've just loved that car ever since. It's just got a classic feel to it. As you can see from here, you can actually do full slow-mo replays and get in there and the graphics are really good. There is a little bit of anti-aliasing, I don't know whether that's my settings, everything's on max at the minute including motion blur, um, whether there's anything in the NVIDIA control panel that I can do to sort that out, I'm not sure. But let's jump in and have a look at the, um, the uh, Ferrari car and you'll hear the audio just sounds absolutely fantastic. And here she is, the beautiful car that is the F40. Wow, look at that beast absolutely beautiful and um, this thing is terrifying to drive <laughs> I don't mind telling you uh, yeah as we go around you can, you can see there is a little bit of anti-aliasing a little bit of jaggies there you can see on the rear um, on the rear screen to the left you've got the options of changing your profiles re uh, restarting the um, this is actually on a time trial thing um, you can uh, 
go into here and muck around with all the settings you like. I mean, I don't understand all this stuff in here. You can change your tyre, suspension, the usual, and, you know, if you're a car nerd, then I'm sure all of this makes sense. And the top button is drive, so let's get in and uh, let you have a listen to this beast. I should have probably slowed down there. <laughs> it is a simulation game, and not an arcade game. You can't just slam the brakes on. You, with the 360 pad, you've got to be really sensitive with the stick and the acceleration. As you can see, it's a fucking beast. I'm trying to actually get this under control, but you do get it in the more laps that you actually you actually get through. So to sum it up, really, there there is a career mode, there is a time trial, and there also is a multiplayer mode. But as I'm quite new to it, I wanted to get used to a few of the tracks. And um, I think there are about 11 tracks so far, and there are about 15 vehicles. And they're, they're adding to more and more vehicles as the game comes closer to launch. But honestly, for $29.99, it feels like you've got an almost complete game anyway. Um, so overall, enjoyable. If you like your racing games, try this. Um, it is on the simulation side. You can play it with a 360 pad, but you're going to get more out of it with the, uh, with the steering wheel, obviously. Fantastic sound, audio is absolutely brilliant. Um, and what I'll do now is I'll show you a couple of quick replays from this one, and then we'll jump into and I'll show you an actually the career mode where you actually start off in the slower cars, uh, and even that's quite difficult and quite enjoyable, and the vehicles sound quite beefy. But this being a look at the PC version of Corsa Amaretto, Elaetto, whatever it's called, it's on Steam, twenty nine ninety nine. Go out and get it. It's good fun.